Good morning everybody, you are on board a Beechcraft Band 58, registration November 05567. Okay, now this is a tutorial on how to control a Beach Baron 58 without any hydraulics. Okay, now to climb, just add power, but keep the aircraft trimmed to a specific speed, then only will you climb. Okay, now adding power like shown means that the aircraft will climb. Try to maintain an, an optimum pitch of below 10 degrees and adjust the power as necessary. As you can see, as long as the power is steadily maintained, the aircraft will climb steadily. But then to descend, just reduce the power all the way to idle and the aircraft will start descending. Once again, add power as necessary to maintain an optimum pitch of 10 degrees below zero. Once you maintain a good altitude, just add power as necessary and then just reduce it again to maintain that altitude. Turning is relatively easy compared to the other maneuvers. To turn, you simply have to add power to one side and then reduce the power on the other side. But again, as I told you, to maintain a specific altitude, add power on the opposite engine as necessary and then the aircraft will automatically start to bank and then turn on its own. It won't be a coordinated turn but it will get you turning. the aircraft out you have to just add power onto the opposite side and then the aircraft will automatically start to become level but to maintain that specific altitude yet again you have to maintain power equal enough so that the aircraft stays level at a reasonably high altitude Landing is undoubtedly one of the hardest the hardest part in controlling a hydraulic less plane. To just land get level with the runway by using the turning maneuvers and the altitude maintaining maneuvers. Just to get the aircraft level is a tough job and it requires skill, practice and most importantly guts. As you can see, I'm trying to fly onto a point where the aircraft can be just turned in one direction to straighten up with the runway. Now watch as I turn the aircraft. You can see that the aircraft automatically starts to turn when you add power onto one side. And then you must know exactly when to turn, otherwise the aircraft will start to veer off course and then you might have to ditch in the water. Okay, now I am at the maximum, at optimum point, so I'm tr trying to turn onto the airport, and then you can see the runway lights just ahead. Now, maintaining the approach will be the hardest bit since you have to maintain both altitude and the uh, turn and le keep level with the runway using only the engines. Almost every time you land a hydraulic less plane, the aircraft will land probably nose down. So you must be careful and try to approach at a lower speed and at a reasonable rate of descent. I'd say about 200 feet per minute, minus 200 feet per minute. And then try when I recommend that you shut off the engines when you're just when you're just a few feet above the runway. Although I'm not going to do it this time.
you can really see how I am fiddling about with the throttle, trying to maintain a, sp a, a reasonable rate of descent as well as keep in level with the runway. If you go off the runway, that might be the worst thing that can happen to you. It doesn't matter if you are making a perfect approach, it matters whether you land alive and well. And then you, mu you must try to stop as quickly as possible to ev evacuate the plane. During the tutorials I keep the crash settings off so that's why it it doesn't show any damage. Now as you can see I apply the brakes as quickly as possible. Now you might go off the runway during the uh, braking, uh, braking point but you don't have to mind that as long as the aircraft stays within reach of the uh, emergency forces. Now that you've stopped the aircraft, just shut off the engines and run for your lives!